Hi, my name is Anthony Gettig, and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a Pro Tools template for VoiceOver. I like to call this a killer Pro Tools template for VoiceOver. So when you first start the program, typically you're, you're greeted with this screen here, um, unless you have you know, said don't show this on startup, that's fine. Uh, to get to this, you'll go up to File and then Create New. Um, we want to create a new session, not from template. Okay, so we're just going to call this my uh, new session template. There we go. And then come down here and set your file type, your bit depth, all that jazz, however you want it. Prompt for location, that's great. I want to hit Create. And I'm just going to drop this on my desktop. And it's going to name it. Never mind what we name it. This is just very temporary. Uh, so new session template's fine. I'm going to hit Save. And lo and behold, we have a fresh new session. <clears throat> First thing we need to do is create some tracks. And so you can do that by coming up here to track and then new, or I'm a big fan of learning the keyboard shortcuts, helps you work faster. So we're gonna use the keyboard shortcut, Control Shift N. Uh, I think that's Command Shift N on Mac. And we're gonna create some tracks here. First, we need an audio track to put our voiceover onto. So I'm gonna call this my new track template. And then I'm going to add a mono augs input and you'll see why we're going to name this the vo augs make it all caps for a little standout and then uh, sometimes i end up doing some production as well and it never hurts to have a stereo master bus so i'm going to add the master fader there just keep it master that's fine so we have three tracks here we have the audio track that our voiceover is going to, going to go on to. We have an AUGS track for, for our processing. I'll show you that in a moment. And then a master in case we, you know, end up doing production down the road. It's always good to have that in there. I hit create and there we go. We have our three tracks. Now we need to do something with these. Obviously this is, uh, this new track here is our, for our, for our voiceover. This is where we're going to do our production and never mind the master. Well, if you need it, it's there for you. Okay. So Right away, we see that the input, the I.O., it's already set to input one on my interface. So I, I'm actually all set. That's what I'm talking on right now. So I would be all set. However, I want to do a little bit of processing. I do some processing on pretty much everything. Um, very, very minimal. Um, so I'm going to actually do that here on the AUGs and then record it on the new track. So check it out. For the input on the AUGs, I'm going to make that my interface. Input one. There's my microphone. Okay. Now I'm going to take the output of this to a bus. And that's just an internal kind of patch bay within Pro Tools. It's one of the great things about Pro Tools is the way you can route audio. So my microphone is coming in here. It's going out here on bus one. So I want to take the output of this and put it up here. And I'll just do that by changing the input from input one over to bus one. So now we see our input is here. We take the out to the in over here, and this is this track here is going to record everything processed here. So now we'll, we'll add our processing. First thing I like to do is add uh, a very basic EQ, just the stock EQ seven band is totally fine. Um, and you can use you can use some presets here. Uh, presets are great; they've been around forever and ever. For me, Male Vox seven band totally fine. I use that for years. Um, you could do that. Um, if you're female, obviously you could, you could change that to suit your preference and you can see it's rolling things off kind of there. I've actually, um, kind of gotten back to just doing a high pass filter. So here's how you create a high pass filter with this EQ real simple. It's over here in this section here, hit that little button there. It says in, see what happens when I do that. When I toggle that, it starts to roll things off and it sets to set to 20 Hertz right now. I'm going to set it to 70. That's kind of where I like to have it. Um, and that's the only EQ I do. That's it right there. This is a, a high pass filter. Um, and again, you can put this in your template. It'll stay there even better. Come up here and save these settings as, and I'm just going to give it a name. I'm going to call it, uh, AG HPF for high pass filter. That way you've always got it. Okay. There you go. So now we're, we're just doing a high pass filter. Uh, if you need a noise gate, I have found that the, uh, Dyne 3, where is it? Uh, expander gate is great. And I just, here again, I'm just going to grab vocal expander. And if you have good levels, this is this is great. 
You may need to tweak this to your liking, but I find that this works pretty well out of the box if you have good levels. If your levels are really low, you don't want to use this. The last thing I'll add here is a compressor. And uh, it's not going to be on by default, but we're going to add it in case we need it. Dyne 3 compressor limiter, great. Here again, another preset. I find the vocal leveler, like if you need a, if you need a, uh, like a real, you know, chunky, uh, something like broadcast sounding, this will do it. This will do it just fine. You could also go in and create your own compressor settings, and which I have done here. I created my own preset. I, you know, I basically started at, uh, at the uh, factory default. I tweaked it around a little bit and then made my own. So this is a soft compressor. All this does is just kind of take the peaks off. Uh, of, the, of the audio. But uh, if you just want to go with a preset, there you go. And that's if you need a compressor. But by default, I like to start with this thing bypassed. Because most of the work you'll do as a voiceover, you really don't want to add this compressor. Unless they tell you, hey, can you beef that up? Because this is for broadcast. Because that tells you that they're not doing their own audio post. And sure, why not? So by default, yeah, I'll add this, but I'll have it in bypass. So let's step back and take a look what we have here. We have our new track. We have our uh, VO augs where we're doing our processing. Think of this as your outboard gear, but it's all in the box. Microphone comes in to input one, goes out to bus one. Bus one becomes the input to our actual track we're gonna record onto. And then the other thing I'll do is, because you know for recording, I, I usually have that muted. Uh, but there you go, That's that's pretty much that's pretty much that. Now here's the cool thing with templates, okay? Let's make, let me come over here and I'm going to uh, expand the clips. You can also save media in your template. Check it out. I'm going to record some room tone real quick here. I'm just going to arm that and I'm just going to record a few seconds. Here we go. Okay, there we go. Let's zoom in on this. Come on. Snap this to the grid here so I can see it. And then I'm going to go back over here to shuffle mode. And I want exactly one second, okay? Because I want to save some room tone over here. Great. So I will, actually, this is a good way to do it. <laughs> so go hit the grid. I can split that here, control E. If you look there, I have now selected one second. So I'm going to consolidate that clip really quick. And you can do that a couple of different ways, but can look that up on your own consolidate that I'm going to rename it one second cool well now I want to have a three second clip great I'm gonna come over here split that I have exactly three seconds I'll consolidate that real quick I'm gonna call this three seconds now for a very specific reason um, I can delete these now since they're in my um, since they're in my clip list for a very specific reason, I need a 1.5 second clip. So I'm going to take and uh, duplicate this. Well, I guess I could just do it with the three second. Let's just do it with the three second one. Well, there we go. Let's trim this down to exactly 1.5 seconds. Well, that's not exact. Let's, uh, let's get this here. There we go. We have exactly 1.5 seconds. I'll make that its own new file. I'm going to call this. 1.5 one point five seconds there we go now I'm gonna delete these off the track zoom out see our session now over here in the clip list what do we have one second 1 1.5 three seconds all of these we don't need these are I, I created the you know individual files of each of these so these I do not need I'll highlight them right click clear and I'm actually going to delete these. It's going to say, are you sure you want to do that? Well, yes, I do. So now look what I have left. One second, 1 1.5 seconds, three seconds. This is all going to make sense here in a moment. I want to go ahead and make that a little smaller now. Now, how does this play into our template? We have our ability to record. We have some room tone that we can bring in any time. I like to start in shuffle mode. Just kind of get this set the way you want it. Uh, zoom, I have mine set to single zoom. Um, I also have this uh, insertion follows playback on uh, pre-roll. Okay, I sometimes if you're doing a punch and roll, I I have a three second um, pre-roll for that. Okay, but I don't want it on by default. 
yeah, so we're good to go. I can actually turn off record on that. And as you can see, we have levels. We did record some audio. In fact, uh, here, let me just record a little bit here so you can see that the audio really is going into there. Check, check, one, two, three. We have a waveform. Great. I'll undo that. Now comes the magic. We are going to make this a template. And the way you do that is you come up here to File and Save As Template. When you do that, now I already have a category called AG for Anthony Gettig. You can create your own. I'm just going to call this my new, my, uh, I'm going to call this AG2. This is my second one. And I'm going to include the media. That way, it will always, you know, have these little bit of clips in here. Okay. So I'm going to say, okay, great. We've done that. I am going to, I'll just quick save and I'm going to close this session and create a new session. I'm going to call this new session two. And this time I am going to create from template in my group AG, AG2. Here we go. I can change these things if I want to, even change the location. Hit create. We'll drop this on the desktop as well. And lo and behold, it creates the windows. We are all set, ready to record. And here's the cool thing. So say you've got a, a, a script with, um, excuse me, a project with multiple scripts, right? You just come over here and if you uh, delete, uh, delete, no, if you want, if you duplicate this track, say, hey, I have, you know, I have three scripts total in here. Um, great, well, I'm gonna add three more tracks, move them up, name them as I need to. You should always name your tracks. And then I still have my, my template track that I can duplicate and create new tracks from. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, well, that's it. Uh, that wraps up this tutorial. Hope you found it helpful. And until next time, take care and God bless.